I think it's safe to say that WordPress 5.9 is the most significant release in WordPress's history. And here I'm even including when Gutenberg, the block editor, was first introduced in version 5.0 in December 2018. Let's go over why this is such an important release and why a new era of web design is about to begin. First, 5.9 introduces the 2022 stock theme. Now, of course, you don't have to use this theme, but if you're first getting into what 5.9 can do, I highly recommend that you use it because it's what's called a block theme. Now, there's only about 30 to 40 block themes at this point. And what does this do? It takes advantage of all the things that 5.9 can do. So going forward, we're going to have two different kinds of themes. We're going to have these block themes, and we will now have what's called classic themes. That is the themes that you're familiar with that you've been using all along up to this point. And with 5.9, You'll see when you use a block theme such as 2022, full site editing. This really turns WordPress into a web design system for the first time. Here you're seeing one of the screens that lets you work with different templates that make up your theme and also to create a template for the first time without any code. That's really exciting. Included in full site editing is site-wide styling. What does this mean? You're now going to be able to set the topography, color, and layout across your entire site. Plus, you'll also be able to set styles on a per-block basis, something that you can't do until now. But to see site-wide styling, you will need to use a block theme. Now you might be wondering, oh boy, this is really going to make a mess out of my website. And I'm here to say, fear not. Because you're going to be using your classic theme and the changes that you're going to see are very subtle. It's only when you use a block theme that the changes will be very noticeable. In any case, WordPress 5.9 is hardly going to break your site. And if you have any questions, test out 5.9 with your theme on a staging site. Along with the full site editing experience, we have a whole new set of new and better theme blocks. So what are theme blocks? Well, I know you're familiar with blocks like paragraph and heading and image and maybe the cover block and group block and columns and things like that, where when you put blocks into your content area and then you put content into the various blocks. What this does, what theme blocks do, is pull data from the database that you've already created. So that's a whole new thing, and it really gives you incredible flexibility as to how you want to build your website. One of the new ones that I will demonstrate later on is the navigation block, which lets you now create your menus with blocks. And one of the features that I really like a lot is how easy it is now to use a pre-existing pattern and make it your own. Very simple, and I love it, and it'll really speed up the process of making websites. There are scores of enhancements in this release, and one thing is you're going to get a dramatically better list view. I will definitely show you that in a bit. Topography, spacing, and borders will be a lot easier to set. And improve lazy loading of images. Not to mention that there are many security enhancements and bug fixes that are built into 5.9. So let's have a look. I'm really excited to show you what 5.9 is all about. Let's begin our overview of the key features of WordPress 5.9 with patterns. Now, the truth of the matter is, patterns have been around for a while, but in 5.9, the ability to access and use the patterns is a lot easier. And so how do you use a pattern? Go over here to the inserter, and over here, there's a tab called Patterns. Click on that, and you can scroll down over here, and you can see the patterns that are available. Now, where do these patterns come from? They came from my theme. And no matter what theme you're using, whether it's a block theme like this one, which is 2022, or a classic theme, which chances are you're using, you'll be able to access and get patterns. And patterns are just pre-made designs that you can customize to your liking. 
So what's new in 5.9 is this right over here, Explore. And it makes it a lot easier to see the different types of patterns that are available and to select one. So I'm going to go down over here to where it says Gallery. And I'm going to choose this one. All I have to do is click on it, and it's mine. So I can start with this as my pattern. Now, I want to take a look at how this is put together. So I'm going to go over here to List View. And List View has also been vastly improved in 5.9, and I'll show you in a bit. So if I go over here to highlight it, I can see here's the boundary around it. And if I go over here, I can see the other one. Well, now I want to just flip-flop them. How can I do that? Well, I'm just going to move this like this. And I just flip-flopped them. That's really fantastic. Now, I could still flip-flop them in the toolbar like this. But you can use these black labels in the list view and move things around. That is new in WordPress 5.9. And I'm going to do a little work on this. So I'm going to close the list view for now. And let's see, I don't really want this image. I just want to replace it. So I'm going to replace it with one that's already in my media library. So I'm just going to open my media library and select the image I do want to use. Okay. And the same holds true for the other side over here. Here I'm on the image block and I do want to replace it. So I'm going to replace it with an image in my media library. And that's fine. And of course, I can make any adjustments I want to these images. Now, I said it was a pattern, so you can do anything you want. It's a really good place to start a design. Let's say, for example, I wanted to put a color in the background of the columns block. Well, where's the columns block? Let's take a look over here. Here's the columns block. And I'm going to now go over to my cog, my settings, and just go over here to color. And in the background, let's just set a background color like this. And you can see really good. I've got that. Now I want to just get this out of the way. Maybe I want to add some text before the column. How could I do that? Well, there's a couple of ways. A new way to do it is just to go back to your list view. And right over here, columns, the three dots. And you have all the options that you're familiar with when you're working with a block. And I'm going to go over to Insert Before. I'm going to type in the slash heading. And I'm just going to say Photos. So you can see there's a lot you can do. In fact, you can do anything you want starting with a pattern. Now let me show you another pattern example. I'm going to do that by just getting rid of the blocks in this pattern. So right over here, I'm going to use list view and remove all the blocks. How convenient. And as you can see, I'm all ready to go. And for this, I'm going to show you, let's go in the inserter. Let's go to patterns. Let's go explore. And let's go to the text pattern. And I'm going to use this one over here. And immediately, I don't want to have all these rows over here, so how do I get rid of them? Well, one way you can click on it and start to like fumble around, and maybe this is right or wrong. It looks like this would be right. But you can also use List View. And you can see right over here, this is actually a columns block with three column blocks inside. So I'm just going to remove it. And I'm also going to do the same with this over here. And I want to make sure, see, I'm not in the right place. So I want to make sure I'm in the columns block. And I could click over here. But that says, hey, I'm only in this one column. That's not right. I want to be in the columns block. Yeah, now the whole thing is selected. And I want to remove. And these are just separators over here. I'm just going to highlight them and just remove them. Here's another one I can remove. OK. But now I want to replace what's over here. I'm going to just take this out by just putting my name in. Very simple. I just highlight it. And... OK. And over here, I'm going to replace this all together. Now, how do I do that? Well, I'm going to remove this block. And right over here, I just clicked on this empty area. And I'm going to type in the word image. 
and that will give me my image block. I will go select it from the media library, and I just choose that, and then I'm just going to resize it a little bit. You get the idea. And of course, I can change the background. I can do all kinds of things. It's just, again, a pattern is just a starting point to create the design for a page or for your entire site. Now, you might say like, hey, I don't like any of the patterns I'm looking at. What can I do about that? Could I make my own? Yes. But is there a place where I can get other patterns? And the answer to that is yes. And a good place to go is to the WordPress Patterns Repository. Now, as of this recording, the only way to access this is to go to wordpress.org slash patterns. But chances are there's going to be a link over here. So it'll say patterns and you can have access to it. Now, where do all these patterns come from? Here's just a few of them. Well, these are from people who have contributed their patterns to this repository for you to use. And there aren't millions of them at this point. There's a whole bunch you can see down here. But there will be over time. So you can see over here, these are the categories of different patterns that I could choose from. And I'm going to go right over here to the columns. And I'm going to look for something that I want. And this is the one I want. Now, if you hover over any of these patterns, you see a little button here for copy. But I want to dig a little deeper. I want to see a better view of this. And this is good. Now, keep in mind the Patterns Repository works like the Plugins and the Themes Repositories. That is, everything in here is free. I'm going to figure out, let's see. Yeah, right over here, Copy Paste. I'm going to click on this. And I'm going to go to a new page on my site. And all I have to do is Command-V or Control-V if you're using a Windows computer. And there you go. And, of course, you can start to edit this any way you want. So let's say you wanted to change the image. You would click over here, replace the image. You want to change the text. You can do that. Put a background. You want to put content above and below. It's all yours, whatever you want to do. Patterns are a really great way to jumpstart the design of your website. And now let's look at what everybody's talking about in WordPress 5.9. Of course, what I'm referring to is full site editing. So up till this point, you could only make content and design changes in the content areas of pages and posts. Well, that's all changed now with WordPress 5.9. Now you have the ability to do anything you want with headers, footers, sidebars, and other common elements of any page. So site-wide changes can be made just through the use of blocks. All right, how do you do this? Now, first you need to use a block theme, which I'm using 2022, which comes with WordPress 5.9. And there's just a limited number of block themes as of this moment. Now, what's going to happen if you're not using a block theme? Well, you're not going to see the following. So I'm going to go over here to Appearance, and you notice that... Customizer, widgets, menus, the typical things that you see are gone. With the classic theme, you're still going to see those. Okay, Nothing's going to change. But when you use a block theme, here's what you're going to see. And you notice it says after editor, it says beta, which means that things still need to be worked out a little bit, but they're pretty solid. So I wouldn't be terribly concerned with seeing this word beta over here. But I know in the near future, you won't see it because it won't be as beta-ish as it is now. All right, so let's click on Editor, and you can see right away that you've got a header area that looks like you could edit, this content area, which doesn't look editable, and then you've got this footer area over here. So how is this put together? Let's have a quick look using the list view, and right over here you can see here's a header, and here's a group, and then here's a footer sort of like a sandwich with the group being where the content area is and the header being over here and the footer being down over here. All right, let's look at this. Now every theme comes with its own templates. These are entire pages that are templates and most of the block themes will have these are very similar templates because Websites usually have single posts, pages, home page, 404 error page, archive pages. I think you get the point. And these are all individual templates. And you can create your own template too. And let's have a look at template parts. And 2022 comes with four different template parts. Now, what is a template part? A template part is an area of a page 
or in essence, a part of a template. And if I go over here to header, you'll see uh, it sort of looks like a bare bones idea. And I can make changes right into this if I want. But I'm going to do something a little different. Let's go over here. I'm going to create my own header. I am going to go here and give it a name. I'm going to select header. And so I'm starting with a blank header. This is just blank. And that's fine for me. And I am going to start building my header just with using blocks. So I start with, let's say, a cover block. I can start with anything, but I want to start with a cover block. And I am going to add media by going to the media library. And I'm going to select this image over here. And I want to make this a little lighter. So while I'm in the cover block, let me get to the cover block over here. I'm going to lighten things up a little bit to make it easier to see. And I, I just want the opacity to be brighter. So I did that. Now I want to add two columns in the cover block. So how do I do that? Well, I notice I have this right over here, the paragraph block. I want to transform that into a columns block. So I just did that over here. And well, I really want more than one. So let's use list view to help us out here. So list view. And I have a column block inside the columns block. That's good. I don't need this paragraph. So let me just get rid of that with over here. And let me duplicate the column. So I'll have two columns. And I'm now going to duplicate. Now let's get rid of list view. And you can see, sort of, that I have my two columns over here. So I click on the inserter, and I want to choose Site Logo right over here. And I'm going to pick which one I want. So I'm going to choose this one over here. And that's fine. Now, for this column over here, well, I don't like the order. If I kind of messed it up a little bit, that's all right. Let's just go to List View. And... I, oh, I see that I've added an extra column. Well, I don't want the extra column here. So let's just get rid of that. And I'm going to move this up over here. So I'm just going to change the order around. And in this column over here, which is the one I want, that second column, I'm going to click on the plus button over here for the inserter. And this time I'm going to put in the navigation block. I'm going to show you how cool this is because now you're going to be able to create your own menus just from using blocks. So put this over here. Let's get rid of this. And I am in my navigation block. I want to make sure this is the icon for the navigation block. And it says start empty. I think I'm going to do that, which means create your own. And I'm going to click on that. I get a little plus button over here, which means what links do you want to put in here? And I am going to type in home. So if you know the names of your pages and posts, you can just do it right over here like that. Now I need to have another plus button over here. So I clicked on the navigation again, and here's that plus button. And I'm going to put in blog, put that one in too. And let's just do one more. So click on this again, and here's that plus button. And I know it's a little hard to see it. We'll fix that in a bit. And I am going to type in about. Okay, that's fine. And one more. So I have three links so far, but I want to be in the navigation. And this time, when I click on that plus button, I'm not going to look for a link. I'm going to go down over here. It's, it says search over here. Now, you'll be able to put in any kind of block into the navigation block. Okay, not just links. But any block, you want to put an image, you want to put in a search tool, you want to put in social icons, whatever. So I'm going to put in the search. And let's just have a look at what this is all about. So I'm going to save this. And let's take a look. Now, I'm going to refresh the page. And now well, it's not exactly what I thought we would see, right? So let's see what we can do to fix that. So I've gone to edit page. Well, you can't edit the page. This is just a regular page. So that's a mistake right off the bat. But I did that deliberately. And I'm going to go 
over here to where it says edit site. Okay, so now what it's telling me right at the top is this page is using the page template. And if I wanted to change something over here, I could do that. But that's not what I want to do. I want to change this header because that's all wrong. I don't know what's going on here. So I am going to select the header, the entire header. And see now the header right over here, it says replace. Now I can look for a header to replace. And right off the top, it shows you my header. And I just put my header in there. And I am going to save this. And now let's have a look at what we did. I'm going to just back out over here. Actually, I'm going to do it this way. Let's go to the right over here. And how about that? So I now have the header that I created attached to the page or the template for a single page. Okay. And if I click over here, now I'm going to fix this in a second because it's really hard to see. Well, what happened to here? Okay, not a problem. This is the blog archive, and you can see it's not accepting or it's not taking my header. We'll fix that. All right, before we do, let's fix something else here. Let's make this a little easier to see. And how do I get this, let's say, the links to be white? Well, Let's make sure we're in the, the navigation block we are, okay? And here's where it says block. Well, let's make sure we are. So now we are. Okay, now it says navigation. And I'm going to change the color so we can make it a little easier to see. And that would be the text color. Okay, that's going to be a little easier to see. I also want to change, maybe I want to change the orientation. So right over here, it's horizontal, but I want to change this to vertical like that. Let's just keep it like that. might be a little easier to see. And one other thing I want to do while I'm at it, I'm going to go to the cover block. Here I am in the cover block, and I want to make this a fixed background. And I'll show you what that's all going to do right now. So I go back to here. Let's go back to the home page and let's refresh. And now you can see the background is fixed. That's the reason why I used the cover block to get this parallax effect for this demonstration. Now, what about blog? What's going on with this? How can we fix this? Because I don't want this. I want my standard BK header. How do I do that? Let's go into here in the site editor. Now it says it is over here, but that's a archive template. So let's have a look at the template for that. And I'm fairly sure it's either going to be the archive or it's going to be something else. Let's have a look. No, that doesn't seem to be it. So let's back out. Let's look at, I think it's going to be index. No, that's not going to be it. So there's no harm in looking where that might be. Could be this. Yeah, okay. So I am now going to swap this out. Now, how am I going to do that? Again, let's just select the header, which I just did, and I'm going to replace the header with my header. How about that? Don't you love it? I do. So now when I go to take a look, let's go out to the site. I have to go to the dashboard, go to the site, go to blog, and there it is. So I have my header in place. Now, yes, I'm not crazy about this logo. If you're thinking like, boy, that logo doesn't go. I get it. But I just want to show the mechanics of just creating your own header and how you could attach it everywhere it needs to be attached. About, that looks good. Let's do a search. Aha. Why is this not right? Well, this is a search results page template. Let's go over here and let's just fix that. So what you're doing is basically attaching the template parts to your template. And yes, you can make changes within the template themselves in other ways. But for this demonstration, I thought this would be enough. We do search over here. Same thing, go to header, go to replace, choose this one, save it, and now 
if I refresh, perfect. And you can see all the results. One other thing about full site editing that is really interesting. Let's say, let's pick out, let's pick out the page template. Notice the order changes too based on the most recent template that you're working on. And I'm going to go over here to page and I'm going to use this new style control over here. I want to change the background color of all my pages. So I can just change this and I'm going to just change the background color something like that. All right. And let's go over here. And now you can see, look at that. So it was all changed. And of course, if I go to the home page, you know, let's see. Yeah, same thing over here. All right. Just going back right over here, I'll show you very briefly with styles that apply across your site. If I go, let's click over here. So here we have topography, color, and layout that you can make some changes over here. There isn't a lot at this point that I can show you with layout, but what I do want to show you, and I think it's fantastic, is if you go over here to blocks, you can make styling changes that will apply across your site. Just by clicking into a block, say paragraph, and say, okay, I want to change the topography and color for all my paragraphs. So let's just do that. Let's say I want to make it noticeably larger font and I could click over here and this is going to work a little bit different on every theme so just be advised of that let's just say I want my font size to be something really large like 28 pixels and I'm going to then save the changes and we'll see if that had an impact and it should yeah, and you can see it's much larger. And this will apply to the paragraphs across the entire site. And just by going into all these different block options, you can really set your default styling for all these different blocks. That's really fantastic. All right, one last thing, a little cleanup time. What happens if I wanted to start all over again? Because you might when you're experimenting. How do I do that? So let's go back to our dashboard. Let's go back to our editor and let's see how to do that we can go over here to templates and now over here i'm just going to clear and here's one that i affected so now i have now if i didn't make any changes you won't see any of these three dots here to clear but that's all there and yep and then over here now you can see See, these are all the ones that came with 2022, but this is the one that I created, the BK header template part, and I'm just going to get rid of that, and that's it. That wraps up a quick introduction to what full site editing can do, a totally new era in WordPress design and development.